Some time ago, I made a little LED earring, and it was quite it, it was quite a simple construction. It was basically a tiny little battery pack that went behind your ear, and it was rechargeable, and it had an LED that plugged into it, and in the end, LED was a bit of heat shrink, a bit of resin, and a piece of fibre optic curved, so it poked through the ear and just made this very tiny, sharp point of light in front of the ear. But I see that uh, on eBay, the, eBay these days, they've got these uh, little tiny self-contained units which have the plug-in uh, connector and the LED actually behind a crystal. So uh, what these do, they've got the battery pack at the back, they've got the stem, and when you uh, press this, put the stem through your ear and into the battery pack and push it in, it lights up. Now this isn't going to look super bright, actually it's not too bad, because the uh, iPad set for, for the paper, because I'm going to be showing you what's inside these, because I took one to bits. But uh, to sh give you an idea of the sort of uh, style of these, this is a picture I downloaded off uh, one of the listings just to show its construction. And the LED is mounted underneath the crystal. The crystal is actually mounted properly. It's clamped in by little grips like proper jewellery uh, stuff. And some of, the, uh, some of the text with it is quite uh, impressive. This one starts off really well and it says, have you ever dreamed of becoming the focus of an audience in a party? Would you like to be attractive and charming in evening events? And then it just goes hardly wrong. Or maybe you have racked your brain to figure out what kind of jewellery fit for you where to celebrate the Merry Christmas. And it can make you special. Now you can try these magical colourful LED light-up earrings. So uh, let's try this magical colourful light-up earring. And I have to say, uh, I'll just actually flip that over and put that down there and tip, because uh, I took one to bits, and it's got quite a few bits inside. It's got the, uh, the little clasp that holds it, which has got a hollow stem. It's got a little circuit board, a tiny circuit board, with a bit of copper wire in the back of it. It's got uh, a spring as a contact. Um, the crystal itself, which is very sparkly, it's like cubic zirconium or something. It really is quite unusually sparkly. Um, and then various other little bits, the battery pack is a sort of folded round metal thing with an insulator and a couple of cells. And anyway, let's, uh, I'll just put this out of the way and show you what's inside like this. So here's what's actually in the head. So here's the base of the crystal and there's this little circuit board just pokes down the middle of this hollow stem. The circuit board, which this is the top of, has a standard piece of, sort of varnished copper wire um, soldered into the middle of it and it's what pokes down the middle and it's just the bare end of the copper wire that forms the inner contact and uh, the outer contact uh, is coupled by a spring onto the bottom of the circuit board to make the other connection. Now the circuit board uh, is double sided. The back of it is just an outer ring with a plated through hole and then a hole in the middle. The hole in the middle comes onto this pad here which has a a cob mounted that the actual the LED has just been bonded straight onto the surface of the circuit board material and then it's tagged on there for the I think that's the yeah that's the negative connection yeah because they've got a wee positive symbol and then the other lead is tagged over onto the positive which is through the plated through hole and onto the back so very simple construction but all very very tiny I'm just trying to see where is that little circuit board here's the circuit board it really is very tiny and there's a little spring so um, then that goes into the battery pack. The battery pack, I'll just get that out of the way. Apparently you can get a version of this with uh, replaceable batteries. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know if the front screws out, but this one basically has a metal dome uh, and it goes into a sort of cup. And the cup has two LR621 cells, and then on top of the top one is just a springy disc with a little bit of sort of adhesive at one side to actually hold it in place. There's also a, a, a insulated liner to stop the battery shorting out. Uh, that's this little insulated liner. And hold on, where's the disc? The disc is very reminiscent of the uh, little uh, tactile feedback switches. It's actually just not coming out at all. There it goes. It's very, very tiny indeed. Um, and the point of the disc is to act when you push the connect the uh, lead down, when you push the pin in, it touches the bottom and it pushes the disc down slightly and it just gives it some spring pressure for a better contact. Then at the top here, the, there's a plastic liner, which is this sort of pinky red coloured thing here. And uh, it acts to grip 
the shaft and sort of insulate it so the outer edge, outer side of the, the shaft makes contact with the outer casing which is onto the, the positive at the bottom and then the inner one gets guided down and gripped onto this uh, disc so it, it's very simple and in the case of this one it's obvious that you know they've put that top set in and then it's been crimped round there's no way to get it open other than using violence which is exactly what I did and that's basically it the thing just pushes down the middle grips in and lights up so it's a fairly straightforward approach I mean it's it's quite neat and they're not very expensive they're about you can buy them individually on eBay for about 99 pence in the UK each. Uh, or if you want a pair, it's like £1.10. But uh, the price, of course, varies. If you type highest first, you find people who have either parked listings at £76, which is probably just parked, um, or you find other listings for the or probably the original ones, the sort of designer version, at something like £30. Um, so um, they're quite interesting. They're an interesting novelty, it seems a bit wasteful. Uh, I'm almost tempted to get one with the replaceable cells just to see how, how that goes, but I did notice some of them just came with a replaceable packs of replaceable back uh, battery modules, which isn't so isn't so good. But um, yeah, that, that's it's a neat little device, quite nicely made.